Hello everyone. Now in this session, I'm going to go through some mail merge examples and also uh, maybe table of contents. So let's get started. I've inserted here the instructions so that we can follow it and not have to switch from one document to the other um, too much. So right here, you're supposed to insert today's date. So let me just double click here because you're going to delete that and insert today's date. Where can we find that? Um, I don't know. Insert. Is it in here? We have here header, footer, page number. There it is. Date and time. We can choose a particular date. All right. But the important thing is if you wanted to update every day, we click in here to update automatically. And then you click OK. So insert right over to the right hand side, date and time. Choose your format. And then make sure you update automatically. There it is. You're supposed to rename the file fruit with your student ID, so then you will go file, save as, save as, and name it as a Word document with your student ID number. All right. Now, insert a header and footer with your name ID, a header with your name and ID, and a footer with the page number. So here we are, a header, and you can choose one of them here with your um, name. I will say joy and your student ID one two three four five six. All right, and a footer at the bottom here with a page number. So I can just click right here and I can insert my page number, bottom of page. I could just put it on the right hand side if I want to, and then I can close my header and footer. There is my header and there is my footer with the page number. Good. Use the producer table in the database to insert name address fields in the document. So I'm going to put my name and address fields right above here, and there so and so will come here as well. All right. How do we do that? We're going to start the mail merge. We're going to go to mailings. Now I don't use envelopes or labels. If I'm asked to do that for this one, it's just a letter. So I'm going to start the mail merge, and I'm going to use step-by-step -step mail merge wizard, which comes over here on the right hand side. Letters has been selected. Good. Let me come down to the bottom and I'm going to click next to select my recipients. How do you want to set up? Yes, I want to use the current document. So I'm going to click next again. We have three options here. Choose an existing list, select from Outlook contacts, or type a new list. I want to use an existing list. So let me browse. I'm going to go straight to look for it. I have it here located in this folder. And it's going to come from the fruit sales. Notice that this is a database. So click here for the database. I'm using any database. Um, we, we require database, but this is a table in the database. All right. And here you have the, the fruit sales. Um, it's coming from the fruit sales table. All right. Now they ask for all of those let's see here use the producer table in the database to insert name and address field merge the document only for grenada producers see here the country where you have these here i can click here and i can select grenada which will give me my two all right that's one way or i can have all of them and i can come here and i can filter filter where country is equal to and I can also type Grenada here. Okay, and it will still give me my country. So you have two methods one here, or, um, and the other one is to filter. Notice that there are two that were filtered. We know that it's in when there's a little one appears up here. See, click here, two. I don't go past two. It shows me that my two are now in. Um, my mail merge. All right. Also, you will see here producer in fruit sales database that is now selected. Next, write your letter. So I'm going to come here and here, these here are now highlighted where I could insert my merge fields. There are lots of different ways to insert your merge fields, but I'm just going to um, just insert one by one so you can see here CEO, press enter. Insert merge field, um, producer. All right, there are other ways, but I'm just going to go use the basic method. All right, 
country here. Now we've got our information in here. I want to preview the results. Let me preview Alfred Martin ABM Farms. So now because I don't have this field as first name and last name, I can't say Dear Mr. Martin or Dear Alfred. So I will just put here Dear Sir. All right. And leave it generic because lots of I see lots of mail merge um, documents coming out as Dear Alfred Martin, Dear Joy Went. No, it's Dear Mr. Went, Dear Miss Went, Dear Sir, Dear Alfred, but not Dear Alfred Martin. That's not usually the norm. Remember, this is just showing you, this is just giving you a preview of your results. But look, you haven't done the merge yet. All right. So in order to merge, you can preview them here. Merge, complete the merge. You click here next. Or another way to preview the merge is to click merge, edit individual um, documents, and then click OK. If you're over here, you click on the same edit individual letters and you click OK. Remember, we had to look. See, the field shows up. Here, we have the name coming up. All right. And there are two of them. Let's see, we're on page one. We go up here, we're on page one. And when I click here on the right hand side, you can see. That's the end of one document. I look page two, the second one, Michael Hall here in Grenada. All right, so I'm paging up and paging down. Here we have it. So let me go back to the main. This is my first one. Remember, I just inserted the instructions in here for us to follow. Otherwise, this will be in another document, another um, your your assessment paper for you to read. All right. Now we get down here to the table of contents. Insert your table of contents below. So below here, you want to have these as headings, all right, and in here, we have for guava, mango, well, we just have for those two, so let's go. Um, this is the first one, I'm going to put in a heading one, all right, I can even take it back over here if I want to, all right, these here, I can make them a heading two, double click, click on heading two, double, well, see, double click just selects one, so this way I could triple click. One, two, three. Select everything which I don't want, so I can select this. Heading two. This one here is a heading one again. Here's my mango. Heading two. Heading two. Heading two. Because there's a coding here, it's taking all of mine. So heading two. Again, now let's go and put in our table of contents. Here we go, delete this and we go insert. Where is your table of contents? We can't seem to find it. Table of contents, usually found under references. Here we go. So you see, you start, you can go through and see where you can find your information. You can choose which option you would like. I'm going to try the hard one. I'm going to go insert table of contents. Because in this option, this is where you can either put an index, just showing you some extra. If you had, um, like if you're doing a document where you would have an index, like in the back of a textbook, then you would put, you click on index, table of figures. If you had, um, you know, diagrams, you want to have a little table of figures or table of authorities. We're using here the table of contents. You will show the page number. You can right align the page numbers, or you don't have to, which will put the page numbers right next to it. You can either have a tab leader or no tab leader, okay, or a straight line, so you can select which ones you want, all right. And see, dashes or dots, and you could even choose if you want to have web links. So once you're in your table of contents, you don't need to adjust these if you don't want to, you can just click OK. And right here you will see see the main heading guava and within that you have your sub heading. So if I use hold down my control key, see the cursor is just a vertical line. If I hold down the control key, it turns into a little pointing finger. When I click here, it takes me straight to the background of guava. Alright. And that is the end of my table of contents. There you go. It looks quite nice. And that's the end of this section. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, goodbye.